Hey everyone, it's Kelly here. So funny story, today I went out on my back patio like I do every morning and I locked myself out of the house. And shockingly, I'm the only one home. Uh, none of my four children were here to rescue me. All the doors were locked and there was no way in. So how did I manage to get in? Well, I was able to get into the garage and found a mallet, uh, any large object tool would work, and I had to bang the doorknob off of the door that leads from the garage to the house. So basically, I just whacked it as hard as I could until it fell apart. Um, I had no phone, I have, no one else has a key to the house, so that's how I was able to get in. And now I am left with a broken doorknob and while well, I took it out of the door so now I have no doorknob but luckily I went to Lowe's and bought myself a new doorknob cost um, $23 and now I'm going to show you how to install it okay the first step into installing a new doorknob is putting um, this part in here okay and you want to have this main circle in the middle so if it was like over to the side when you put it all the way in or too far over you're going to have to make some adjustments with the um, the length okay but mine is actually lined up perfectly and then I'm gonna put two screws in here to attach it okay so we have the latch in place and it's lined up in the middle so all we have to do is now put the doorknob together. So my lock is gonna go on the outside and the main piece, the long piece, is going to come through. Now this only assembles one way, so you really, you know, can't mess it up too much. And then on this one, you're also gonna just fit it in there. And if you look to the side where the screws go, you can see, um, this part where the screw is going to go in and before i screw it in i just want to make sure that my lock is correct i'm going to test it so the unlock is working the latch over here is going through and now it's locked so it is working so now we are just going to get the long screws that are provided and we have to make sure we get it in that hole so you may have to adjust a little bit to get on that side so you can see and you're gonna really feel for it like you're gonna have to look for the okay so maybe you can see from this angle I'm gonna stick the screw into the hole and now I can feel the resistance so my drill may not fit in there yep it won't so I'm just gonna use a screwdriver to tighten that while holding the doorknob in place Okay, so now I'm just tightening down the other side. The last step in installing your doorknob is um, replacing the plate that is provided, but mine is actually fine, and you may have to adjust if need be, if it was loose, but um, mine is fine, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Thank you.